Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will make some really simple and basic carbon rod heater. And yeah, this kind of heater is made from carbon rod, which I have here. So this one you can really easily find in some zinc carbon batteries. And now what I need to do, I need to connect each end of this carbon rod to my power supply. And that's it. So the temperature right now is around 25, 25 degrees C. And now I will turn on my power supply. Uh, right now the consumption uh, of this little carbon rod heater is 5.5 amps. And this is because my power supply is limited to 5 amps. And this will be the maximum current which I apply to this carbon rod. Uh, and the voltage is 1.2 volts. You can see 5.5 amps and 1.2 or 1.1 uh, volts. And in a couple of seconds I get to 50, 53, 54 degrees C. So this little carbon rod heater can be some really nice pocket heater for warming your hands, for example. So you lower the temperature by lowering of the current. So less current you will apply to this little pocket heater, uh, lower will be also the temperature. But because right now I use 5.5 amps and 1.1 volt, I get a temperature of 61, almost 62 degrees C. Oh yeah, it's really hot. But now I will double the length of this carbon rod with using some another carbon rod. In this case, The amperage, I mean the current will still be the same, 5.5 amps, but the voltage will rise up. And now the voltage is 2.5 volts. You see, 5.5 amps, oops, and 2.8 volts right now. Okay, this carbon rod heater is smoking a little bit. This is because I have these carbon rods from some battery. And for this reason, uh, some chemicals which are still on these carbon rods are evaporating. I just want to measure what will be the temperature. Oops. And also in this case, I get higher temperature. Almost 100 degrees C. So longer is the carbon rod, more voltage you will apply to this carbon rod heater and also in this case more, I mean higher will be also the temperature, 120 degrees C. One hundred 
yeah really nice but instead of using some carbon rods you can also use some flat piece of graphite graphite plate so this graphite plate is in dimension 5 centimeters by 4 centimeters and uh, I think that it's 3 millimeters thick something like this and let's try what I will get out from this uh, graphite plate when I connect to my power supply Okay, you see that the temperature is rising slowly uh, and the consumption is 5.5 amps and 0 0.07 volts because this uh, graphite is too conductive and more conductive will be your heating element uh, lower will be the voltage and higher will be the current but if the material have higher resistance then in this case higher will be the voltage and lower will be the current 38 degrees C yeah on this power which I apply to this uh, to this graphite plate uh, the temperature is rising slowly and after five minutes, let's check what will be the temperature of this uh, graphite plate heater. And the temperature is 47 to 48 degrees C. And actually this will be the maximum temperature of this little graphite plate heater on this power, of course. So guys, uh, this was the video about how to make some really really simple and basic carbon rod heater. That's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye!